Welcome to the 20 Minute Ag Manager Good to Great in Ag Labor Management webinar series. In only four minutes. In this video summary of the webinar, we will discuss some strategies for managing your risk as an agricultural employer. And I'm your host, Liz Higgins with the Cornell Cooperative Extension Eastern New York Commercial Hort Team. Adding employees to your farm operation sure helps to get the job done, but it also can expose you to a lot of new risks. As an agricultural employer, you will face a lot more legal and regulatory scrutiny. Your employees could get hurt. And some of your employees may cause problems with your customers. For most farms, risk due to being an employer falls under the categories of compliance with labor laws and regulations, workplace safety, and just general problems with your employees. Compliance with labor laws and regulations is one of the most daunting risks for an agricultural employee as the laws can be complex and fines are often high. Common issues fall in the categories of misclassification of workers or improperly paying workers. An example of misclassification of workers would be to classify a worker as an intern rather than as an employee and therefore not provide the required benefits and pay. Improperly paying workers could include items like not paying overtime when required, not providing pay stubs showing hours and rate of pay, and taking prohibited reductions from somebody's paycheck. Fortunately, there are resources that can help. In New York, the Ag Labor Program is a non-enforcement division within the Department of Labor, and its purpose is to provide assistance to farmers in complying with labor laws and regulations. Cornell also offers technical assistance through the Ag Workforce Development Program and the Cornell Farmworker Program. Safety is another concern on the farm to an employer. There are laws and regulations around protecting workers from ag chemicals, workplace hazards, and reporting injuries and workmen's compensation. These are all intended to help keep your workers safe. In addition, if you hire youth, you have an additional risk. But once again, there are resources in New York that can help. NICAM can provide safety trainings, personal protective equipment, and conducts on-farm audits to help farmers reduce their risk. New York State Department of Labor will also conduct safety audits on farms. In many counties, Cornell Cooperative Extension offers additional safety trainings, including tractor safety training for youth. And while we're talking about youth, just remember that every year children working on farms are injured and killed in agriculture related incidents. The National Children's Center for Rural and Agricultural Health and Policy does have resources for training youth workers and providing age appropriate jobs on farms. Let's keep our kids safe. Well, we've covered a lot, but what other risks can you think of? Theft alcohol or drug use, issues with customers, conflict and harassment at work, absenteeism, these can all wreak havoc with a farm business. A risk assessment can help to identify and develop mitigation strategies. Because the number of possible problems can be overwhelming, a simple five-point scale can be used to help prioritize your mitigation efforts. For each risk you identify, assign a score to the likelihood that it will happen and the severity to your business if it does. The sum of these scores is your risk index. I recommend starting with your highest scoring risks first. And whatever you do, don't forget to include your employees in your risk mitigation planning. They can be a great source of information for potential risks in your business and also ideas for mitigating them. And with that, I'd like to thank our funder for the development of these webinars and videos and my project team for the development of the original materials. And thank you for listening.